Welcome to Flipside Productions. I am your host, Flippin' Phil. This is a prediction. The Ultimate Fighter season finale is going to be headlined by Frankie Edgar versus Chad Mendes. The answer versus money. It's going to be very interesting December 11th, 2015, Friday night. Three nights of spectacular fights up and down the, from the top bottom of the card to the top of the card. It's going to be fun all around. Three nights of fights. Can't wait. This one's uh, Fox, uh, going to be on Fox Sports 1. So the thing that's interesting is the Team McGregor versus Team Faber. And we know that Chad Money Mendez is down with Uriah Faber. So it's kind of like uh, Frankie Edgar's representing Team McGregor in this main event. I've been wanting to see Chad Mendes and Frankie Edgar fight for a long time. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's just been a dream come true to have these guys booked and to be fighting coming up soon at December 11th. You know, it's December 1st right now, December 2nd, depending on when you're watching, maybe third, who knows. But this is going to be a spectacular fight as we have Frankie at the answer Edgar at 19-4-1 and in the Chad Money Mendes at 17-3. and how has Frankie Edgar won his fights, you ask? He's won five by KO, TKO, four by submission, ten by decision. Chad Money Mendez has won seven of his fights by KO, TKO, two by submission, eight by decision. Now, how Frankie Edgar has lost all four of his fights, the four ways he, he's lost four fights, okay? And how he's lost them is by decision. So when it goes to the judges, he either wins it, where he loses, it's a higher percentage that he's going to win it if it goes to the decision. But he's a finisher, too. Nine finishes he has in his career, and so does Chad Mendes. He's got nine finishes as well and eight decisions. But the thing is that makes the, the, the difference between these two men is that nobody has ever finished Frankie Edgar, to my understanding and my research. Now, with Chad Money Mendes, he's been finished twice and lost once by unanimous decision. He's lost twice to Jose Aldo, once by unanimous decision, the first time a crazy fluke knee, uh, spinning knee, it was crazy. You know, you've seen it, you know, it's just an amazing thing. If you ain't seen Aldo knock out Chad Mendez, I suggest you go watch that knee. You know, that was just an amazing knockout. And then the other person who defeated Chad Mendez, we all know, is Connor, the notorious Mugrega. So, it is going to be very interesting with these two go and throw down leather. Now the last, now uh, Frankie Edgar is on a four fight winning streak right now. He had, uh, where this started out with, was a unanimous decision win over Charles Alibera. Then he uh, had a TKO victory over BJ Penn in the third showdown. He submitted Cub Swanson with a neck crank and then he beat Uriah Faber, Chad Money Mendez's boy, by unanimous decision. Now, when um, he had a three-fight losing streak, that is, Frankie Edgar had a three-fight winning uh, losing streak before he beat Charles and Penn and Swanson and Faber. He lost twice in a row to Benson Henderson, and that's that. You know, he went the distance with them twice. A unanimous decision loss and a split decision loss. And then before that, UFC 156, he uh, will also, along, I, I, I mixed up when he lost to who, but he uh, lost to Jose Aldo by unanimous decision at UFC 156. You know, so Frankie Edgar and and uh, Chad Mendez is going to be an insanely awesome featherweight fight that I've been waiting to see for a long time. Now, to get to the prediction, uh, how I believe it's going to go down is Frankie Edgar with a win with a TKO, KO victory in the third round over Chad Money Mendez. You know, I would like to see him submit. It would be awesome to see Frankie Edgar submit Chad Money Mendez for the very first time, but with Chad Money Mendez's wrestling background and pedigree, I really don't see him getting submitted by the answer Frankie Edgar. Like, does Frankie Edgar have the answer to submit Chad Money Mendez? I believe he does, but I see him winning by TKO, ground and pound, onto, uh, you know, Chad Mendez. I'd like to see a crucifix like, uh, you know, we've seen recently. A crucifix where he gets the leg wrap. Like he, like, he uses his legs to wrap up an arm and uses an arm to wrap up an arm. And the other arm is free. He just punches him in the head. 
until the ref says there's nothing Mondays can do. On the flip side of it, if it goes the distance and it gets out the third round, it goes the fourth, goes the fifth, and goes to the judges, I see it being a unanimous decision, 49-46 for Frankie Edgar over Chad Mendes. On the flip side of it, with a split decision win would be Chad Mendes, where two judges would see it 48-47 Mendes, two of them, and then one of the judges would see it 48-47 for Chad for uh, Frankie. So let me know what you think in the uh, you know let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Do you agree with any of my predictions? My solid prediction of the KO TKO third round knockouts over Chad Mendez by Frankie Edgar, or do you think the flip side of it is going to be a decision win for a unanimous decision win for Frankie Edgar or a split decision win for Chad Mendez? Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate that very much. If you want to leave me a comment about anything I said at all during the video, leave a comment down there below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video for more videos, predictions, and prediction reviews, uh, and so forth. Thanks for watching. This is Flippin' Phil. I'm out for the night or day or morning. What time is it when you're watching this? I don't know.